For me, being a leader is someone that inspires. It's someone that will not ask something of someone else that they wouldn't do themselves. So it's someone that puts themselves forward, takes charge, but also is humble and has empathy and knows where someone else is coming from, but still like maintains that standard, still verifies, trust but verify, and someone who wants to do what's best for the organization at hand. I've had many, um, many women that have inspired me, but one in particular that I've learned a lot about and was really drawn to is retired General Rhonda Cornum. And the story that really helped me to really propel me in, into like my army career was uh, during the Gulf War. She was on a search and rescue mission in the back of a Black Hawk when they were shot down and several of the crew members and pilots were killed and she received bullet wound to her back, two broken arms. She was taken, uh, captured by the Iraqis. She was a prisoner of war. She was in a lot of pain, but that pain never killed anybody. And so I thought about her a lot throughout my uh, uh, training, seer school, flight school, dunker, all the things. And so whenever I was struggling in any of my training, I thought about that. And she's a true inspiration to me. Something that I've always kind of prided myself on is I always aspire to be the best leader I can, not necessarily focused on the male or the female aspect of it. Um, and I truly believe that the soldiers see that. And I just hope that they see me, hey, not a great female leader, but a great leader overall. I would definitely recommend to any female, you know, aspiring leader, aviation officer, pilot, try to attain and coach yourself to be the best leader, pilot, soldier you can, uh, regardless of gender. And everyone will see that. And you'll impress not only yourself, but all those around you. I remember I walked into class for our very first like Black Hawk academics and he was like, today I'm going to teach you guys how to be sky gods. And we're all like, oh, that's so cool. Strap a Black Hawk on your back and be a sky god. So I will never forget him saying that. It was cool. And that kind of embodies like what your whole, you know, rolling into flight school and learning all for the first time. Is. So the first time you get in an aircraft and learn how it feels and just experience what rotary flight can be is very memorable. Um, you're doing it alongside of a bunch of like-minded uh, warrant officers and regular officers. Lots of fun, lots of hard work, lots of just kind of reality checks and context, but all in a good way. I do truly feel like I'm in an organization where there is no qualifier of like, you know, you're a female, you have to prove a little extra, or we're gonna view you as needing to break outside of this preconceived box.